Hey everyone, and welcome to the Grow Hemp series. Today, we'll be regenerating a cherry blossom plant that's already been harvested once. This is a continuation of the end of Grow Log 17. And after I harvested the plant, there was just a little bit of growth left at the base of the plant, which I left behind to regenerate. Regenerating a hemp plant involves changing the lights from the 12 and 12 hour light cycle back to an 18 and 6 hour light cycle, which triggers the plant to revert back into the vegetative stage from the flowering stage. This process will cause the buds on the plant to grow multiple new stems. In fact, each sugar leaf on a single bud can form its own individual stem. And as you can see from the time lapse, with just one small bud left on the plant, it's enough to completely restart an entire hemp plant grow. In fact, if you're regenerating a hemp plant, I highly recommend starting with as little of the original plant as possible so all of the growth will be centralized in one location, preferably on the main stalk so that the stems are well supported. I also wanted to note that this time lapse actually starts about two weeks after the plant was originally harvested. This is because it takes a while for the plant to both get over the shock of losing pretty much all of its stems and to revert back to the vegetative stage. Once it starts to happen though, it happens fast, since the plant's entire root system is already in place, the plant can focus all of its energy on growth. Here I'm revegetating the plant in a small grow tent running a combo chip on board and blurple grow light that might be a little too bright for this small tent, and along with the lights, there's also a hygrometer and thermometer combo, as well as two USB powered PC fans for the intake and exhaust, since this setup is too small for an inline fan. Since the plant is back in the vegetative stage, I'm also using a grow fertilizer to feed the plant. Although now that the plant has grown a good amount, I'm switching the lights back to a 12 and 12 hour light cycle to trigger the flowering stage again. Of course, with this, I'm also switching the grow fertilizer to a bloom fertilizer. And I'm going with a three part hydroponic nutrient line for this. I'm going to be making seeds with this regenerated hemp plant, as I have two male plants currently maturing outdoors, and I made sure to time it so that the flower cycles are in line with each other, so that once the pollen sacs on the male plants are developed, I can then place this plant outside directly under the male plants. And here, all I need to do is to let nature do its thing. With the pollen falling onto the flowers and buds, this will cause the plants to make seeds 
at the cost of CBD. Once the plant is pollinated, it will take about another one and a half months for the seeds to completely develop. One thing to note here is that this is also happening at the beginning of the spring months and the amount of sunlight a day is slowly passing the 12 hour mark. So there's a risk that the plant could go back to the vegetative stage again while the seeds develop, but we'll see how it all turns out. Once the male plants have fully matured, I removed them. And you might have noticed that there are some flowers and herbs growing behind these plants. And these were grown here as companion plants, which are plants that can be placed alongside hemp to provide some unique benefits. Here we have marigold and basil plants, both of which can repel a number of hemp-eating bugs. A month in, the plant seems to be doing well, and even though we're getting about 13 hours of sunlight a day, the seeds are developing just fine, with a quick check showing that they're just about finished, so we'll give it another week or so. Now one final check, and the seeds are fully developed, so we can harvest the plant. And that's it. Like the content? Then be sure to check out our beginner's guide to creating CBD products from scratch, available at Amazon in print and digital, with links in the description below. You can also find us at hempinapot.com.